Then we have to do it all over again. Then we'd have to do it all over again. <laughs> okay. <coughs> so you guys have all your supplies ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you should have cardstock that was five and a quarter by four and a fourth. Okay. Um, and then two pieces that were three and a half inch square. And you got oh, a I hope you meant no, I was, hope you no. meant that this is coordinating cardstock. Um no, it just says cardstock. I, I know three and, a, three and a half inch square. I thought it was three and a fourth by three and a half. Nope, it says three and a half inch square. Right. Ooh, you can't see on there, but it's three and a half inch square. Okay, I'll have to cut some more. Okay. I did buy three and a half by three and a fourth. Okay. You've got a piece of basic white that is 10 by four. You've got your designer series paper that is four and three fourths by three and three fourths. And then you've got your designer series paper that is 12 inches by one inch. All right. Okay. Let's do this. Let me get my first page here. Okay. You're going to start off. And you're going to take your two three and a half inch squares and we're going to score them um, in half diagonally. Okay, so I'm gonna put my points on my trimmer. So that they're scored this way. Guess Vic had to go recut real fast. So you can use your bone folder to make sure they're folded really good. Okay, three and a half and three and a half and do what? And you're going to score them diagonally. I don't think Stampin' Up! knew how popular some of their products were going to be. They're really struggling keeping things in stock. Yes, they are. And as much as I hate to say it, it's going to be the new normal. So... Yes, yes. That is whatever. If you find something that you really want when a catalog comes out, you need to order it fast. What I love to do is go into the clearance rack and go, dang, everything I, I like is now on clearance. <laughs> right, right. I know. I'm the same way. I'm like, dang, mm -hmm. I could have bought that for a whole lot cheaper. But oh, well, what cracks me up is on the clearance rack when they'll put like a set of dies but there's no stamp set to coordinate with them. And I'm exactly. like, who's going to buy those dies? <laughs> well, unless they go on, uh, is it Etsy or Bitsy or whatever, you can buy stuff. Oh, yeah, Etsy. Like, yeah, Etsy, Etsy, you can buy stuff. Yeah. Although yeah. Stampin' Up! is really cutting down and trying to get rid of all that stuff. But I think it's kind Good of luck a with that. battle. So. Yeah, but they have no way of enforcing that. Well, they do because it's copyright infringement. So they do when they're, oh. they've got all kinds of lawsuits out there against all these companies, but, and they've had a lot of stuff taken oh. off the market, but now I've noticed uh, Dollar Tree even has um, infringement stuff of Stampin' Ups. So it's I just thought of a person, you know, an individual had a pack of paper that they didn't open, so they put it on there, but I guess oh, they, yeah. some of these are big purchasers. Yes, yes. Yep, definitely. So, all right, Vic, you caught up? Uh, yes. Okay. Now what you're going to do, you're going to set those aside for a minute. You're going to take your 10 inch by four inch piece of white and you're going to fold it in half. Again, you can use your bone folder. Okay. Now you're going to pull back these two folded squares or scored squares, 
and they are going to be attached to the back of this card that you just folded. Okay, so you want them centered back here on the bottom half. Ooh, my internet is not good today. We got someone coming it out. Is, it is wonky. Yes, it is wonky. It definitely is. So you're going to go ahead and adhere those to the back. I'm hoping the recording looks a little better. We'll see. And you'll just do one on each side. Okay, you good with that? Okay. Yes. Now you are going to go ahead and stamp and embellish this right here, the bottom part, because that's going to be the inside of your card. Okay, so whatever you want on the inside, you're going to put right there. What kind of cards are you guys making? First day for me. Okay. I, I go generic until we're at the end. <laughs> there you go. Until you see exactly what it's going to look like. Exactly. I know some people have been complaining that the, I guess the big powerful demonstrators that sell these uh, paper thingies, paper. The shares? Paper shares that they buy up so much paper when it's first available, right? That it's hard for other people to get it, you know, when it's open to the public or you know, right. the masses. Right. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely a lot of that going on. Okay, you guys good with that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's move on to step four. So step four says you're going to take your four and three fourths by three and three fourths piece of designer series paper, and you're going to adhere that to the front of this card, okay? So just fold your white flap down and adhere it to the white. Don't pull the black in or anything yet. You're just going to adhere it to the white. The design is great. Okay. Now, when you're looking card, cute, looking cute, looking cute, when your card folds up, now these are going to go ahead and lay across it like that. Okay. Oh. So then you're going to take this whole thing and you're going to adhere it to your bigger piece. Okay. Of cardstock. So it's going to lay right down like that. Okay, so we've got this where we adhered those on the back. And your flaps overfold each other. Your flaps overfold. You got it. So then that piece that you just attached it to covers up the, the ickiness on the back. So now it's nice and pretty. Gotcha. Empty. OK, 
Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Step number five. Oh, we just did that. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Step number six. You're going to take your strip of designer series paper. Okay. And it is going to lay around it like a belly band. Okay. Now it is really long. So you will just trim it down to whatever size you need it, but you want the seam to be somewhere right in the middle, okay? So I've got that across like that, and I want that to be in the middle. So I'm gonna cut about an inch off of mine. And then I'm going to this adhere it down. Now don't go too tight because you have to be loose enough to be able to slide it on and off your card. So if you Can use liquid adhesive, you have time to move it and make sure it's going to slide. Can you put your uh, seam on the back? Can you put your or what? Is it better on the seam <laughs> on the back? Uh, put it on the front because we're going to cover it up. Okay. That's why you want it to be close to the middle-ish. So go ahead and, and glue it down. Yep, go ahead and glue it down. and test it once you get it glued to make sure it moves. Okay, you guys good? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Our next step is we're going to add our embellishment or our focal piece on our card, and you're going to adhere it only to the belly band, okay? So you may want to die cut something and put it on there. You may want to just do a square or a rectangle with your greeting on it, whatever you want, and you're going to attach it right to that belly band. So like mine's Halloween and I have die cut this little like tombstone and I'm going to adhere it on it right there. Very cute. Isn't that cute? I like it. Do you get a lot of trick-or-treaters in your neighborhood? We do. We get hundreds. We got a lot of kids in this neighborhood. We never have any anymore. Yeah. Kind of depends on the areas. Once the little kids have all grown up, you know, it gets to be older and then there aren't any trick-or-treaters until you start getting right. young families in again. And the neighborhood cycles through again. Yep. Yeah. Well, ours is mostly older people, and so, you know, unless it's their grandkids or something, you just don't get any. Yeah. Well, you can come here. We get hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so that is it. Then you can decorate that how you want. I'll show you my finished one that I did. So that's oh, cute. Little, uh, isn't that cute? I just cut out one of the skeletons from that designer yep. series paper and then yep. he just slides off. And then now did you do the you didn't fussy cut it, you did the uh, the die. Oh, uh, you know, I fussy cut because you know how I am. Oh, but you <laughs> can use you can use the die for him, but if I get a chance yeah. to fussy cut, I'm always going that way. <laughs> Sometimes the dyes leave a little bit too much uh white. Or border. Yes, yes. And sometimes they get off and it's not even and that drives me crazy. So I would rather just do it myself. <laughs> I get it. Then I've got it just how I like it. So all right. So how'd you guys do? You do good? Vicky, let me put you, let me get this thing off a of spotlight. 
Um, and I will spotlight you. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, oh love I like it. that. I like the little cloud look. That's cool. And then it it was just a pre-cut thing. And then just I'm just oh, I came for the cake. cake. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Love I it. love it. That looks great. Thank you. Looks great. All right, Lindsay, you want to show us yours? Well, I had to do contra coordinating uh, cardstock. Oh, I like it. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's really pretty. And I like it. Looks nice. Mm-hmm. You know, and then yeah. I just put a um the cream color, the vanilla on the inside. Okay. So I decide what I'm gonna do. Right, right. I sometimes think the vanilla contrasts with the white, helping old people know <laughs> see where better. To, there you go. <laughs> where to write. <laughs> That's cute. No, I, I like it. it. I don't have a problem. Well, thank you. I I get it. I get it. Very nice. All right. So yeah, if you Good guys job. want to post the pictures below, um, well, actually, let me um, post Set the recording um, in the group. And after I do that, you guys can post your pictures and I'll do a drawing. 50-50 um, okay. chance. I know. Well, Good we'll one. see if anybody who watches the replay, they can post oh, theirs okay. too Good. and they Good. get their name in it. So Good. yeah. And then that, I get that's some as people- it should be. Some people who don't want everyone to see their card, so they like text mm -hmm. me a picture of their card. <laughs> I'm like, all right, not everybody okay. likes the spotlight. I get it. <laughs> Tell us who won. Tell okay. us who wins. Okay, I certainly will. And thanks, guys, for joining me. I appreciate it. Okay, okay I'm going to send better. you a message. Thanks. Okay. All righty. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.